What's up guys, thanks for coming to Gaming Canada with me. My name's Phil, today we're gonna to be checking out my Nintendo 3DS that I thought I bricked the other day after performing a system firmware update. Now my SD card slot has not been working as of late and I thought performing a firmware update might refresh the system and allow my SD card slot to work. Now upon reboot, my SD card slot was working but I got this error message, failed to apply one firm patches. Now my heart started beating pretty fast and I thought I bricked my only 3DS to make videos with. Now with my return to YouTube, happening right now I was honestly pretty sad but it turns out it's a super easy fix and I should have known that my Luma just wasn't updated to the latest version. Now to do that all we got to do is move some files around on the SD card so if you guys are seeing that error message make sure you keep watching because you'll be fixed up in no time. Are you ready? Let's go! Head over to the Luma repository and we're going to check out version 10.2 which is the latest version. Now this will work on the newest firmware of the Nintendo 3DS. Go ahead and click the zip folder and it'll download. Go down to your download there and hit show in folder. Now this is going to open up your downloads. Go ahead right click it and use 7-zip to extract it to here. Now this is going to give us two files that we need to remove to the root of our SD card. So go ahead and take your SD card and get it plugged into your computer. Open it up and you'll see you'll have these two files already in there likely and if you don't go ahead and just get them in there. Replace the ones that are already there if you do and now you're updated to the latest version of Luma. Go ahead safely eject your SD card. Now we're going to go and put the SD card back into your 3DS. Turn your 3DS back on and you'll be greeted with the Luma configuration screen. You don't really need to touch anything on here so just hit start and you're now back into your 3DS. Now let's say in the future your SD card stops working or heaven forbid your SD card slot stops working in your 3DS. If you tried to boot it on you'd be greeted with that same failed to apply one firm patches error. So to future proof your device here we're going to want to put the latest version of Luma on the actual internal storage of your 3DS. Now when your 3DS boots on it checks the SD card for Luma's boot.firm and if it can't find it there it checks the internal storage. Now if you can't find either because the SD card slot isn't working then you might have unintentionally bricked your 3DS and potentially never be able to use it again. Now to do this all we have to do is open up FBI, go ahead and tap A on your SD card, go down to your boot.firm, tap A on it. This will give you the option to copy. Go ahead and hit A on copy and then press any button to continue. Press the B button once, go to your CTR NAND, hit A, hit A. Now go down to where your boot.firm is, hit A on it, and then hit paste. Now this will replace your old boot.firm with a new one. Now if there is no boot.firm, you're going to want to go up to the top where it says current directory, hit A there, and then hit paste. Now make sure you don't touch anything else in this area because this could definitely break your 3DS. So don't do anything but copy and paste the boot.firm into here. Well, I hope you guys now have a working Nintendo 3DS for all your custom firmware and homebrew needs. If you have any questions or comments, go to the comments section and let me know. If you haven't left a like on the video, go ahead and leave a like. That would be awesome. If you want to subscribe for more, think about it. Go ahead. The button's right there. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.